What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. DW here and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I've been doing some work since last episode. I spent the last like 45 or so minutes grinding out some, some things. One of those things is this thing, another timber stockpile. And I'm realizing that it's very upsetting. So this is actually a five wide uh, item. The slot that you can place it in is six wide. The one that it starts you with by default is in the middle of that. So it's got half a tile to the left and half a tile to the right. So they don't line up, which you guys know is gonna bother me. So at some point, I'm probably going to remove it and rebuild it so it's in line. You can see right there, it's, it's six wide on that, but this one's only five wide. And I don't know why. <laughs> why would they do that? That creates, I don't know. That involves the creation of two separate things i i don't know anyway last time we got a lot of new a lot of new stuff and because of the farming i've been doing i grabbed some more red and green points and if we look at our inventory i've been trying to get some bees because i want to get into making an apiary today i also did a little bit of fishing we caught a frog which is kind of cool right got a tilapia i did this at the little pond just north of the village we got two bees out of eight, so the return rate's not great. And I also grabbed a lot of moths. You can see all the flowers that were harvested. 22, so that's 46, plus 17. Uh, are there any more? No, that's it. That's a lot of flowers. And I got, I think, 22 moths? But then I, I fished with a couple of them. Anyway, that's the progress that's been made. I want to go ahead and dump my inventory real quick, and then we're going to get to work on some of the new technologies that we unlocked. We're going to start using them. I want to start off by making the church benches, because I do have a little bit of work I need to do in the graveyard as well. I'm pretty sure we made two stone headstones, uh, or sorry, a, a gravestone and a stone fence, I think. And we'll stash the bees, and I don't know if bees can be can be used for bait or not but and when did we get a butterfly I am I don't know when we acquired that no idea all right though I know for the church benches we need joists and I don't remember how many so I'm gonna head into the church real quick and check that out the fancy dancy church benches are eight planks and four joints each, or four jointings each. So that's a lot. I don't know how expensive those are, but we now have access to a carpenter's workbench too. And that reminds me, I think we need to upgrade our carpenter's workbench as well, now that we have access to do so. But before we do that, let me grab, just kidding, I don't have to grab them from there. I could just put them on from here. Fancify this ever so slightly and then spend a lot of energy doing it. Oh, and speaking of, well, not speaking of energy, but I'm just seeing the bar. And it's reminding me of my health bar. When I was grabbing all that honey, oh my gosh, it's painful. I got to the point where I had like a sliver of health left and I couldn't harvest honey. I saw some that I couldn't grab and I had to come back for it after sleeping to regenerate health, because it hurts a lot. I know there's a perk that prevents you from taking damage while harvesting honey, but Okay, carpenter's workbench, upgrade. We need two more beams and complex iron parts. Wooden beams take a complex iron part, so we need at least five more of those. Uh, we'll make six, and I can do it from this side, thankfully. Oh man, we're gonna make some progress today, guys. A lot of it, I'm hoping. We're gonna upgrade stuff, we're gonna get new things built. I might go buy some more bees. I found where you buy them. It's the beekeeper. And they're only, at least they start, um, 20 copper a piece. So I might just say screw it and do that. Plus we're upgrading our, our graveyard quality ever so slightly by making that one change we just made. So hopefully we get more money because I believe church quality is determines faith. Ooh, I like that. It's got measurements on it now and like tool storage up top. Fancy. 
church quality determines how much faith you get and then also what is an iron chisel should i make it and find out i kind of want to but i kind of don't at the same time oh and then we can upgrade our armor too to complex iron i, I want to do all the things today guys all of them we shall leave no things left undone after today with how much i plan on doing I don't know. It's probably going to be another instance of I bit off more than I can chew, but do I care? Nah, not really. Beautiful. Steel armor. Boom. And we haven't researched the iron armor, but one thing I do want to do, well, we can sell a pickaxe and any tools that we've researched. So axe one, we can sell. And is that literally it? I thought we had researched more. Apparently not. Okay, well, we'll sell pickaxe one and axe one. I'll also grab, heck, 32 coal. Why not? We're going to make a trip to town and sell things and buy things. It's going to be nice. So we'll sell that. Is there anything else I want to sell or can sell? Can I sell any... Can I sell any processed goods i i don't know and i'm not gonna bother trying to find out right now we'll worry about that later I'm trying to think what else i have on me that i can sell i do have some burial certificates i'm gonna need to go sell things in order to get the money to buy the bees i don't think i had enough i'm not sure i actually don't think i checked how many i had but either way having more money never killed anybody well at least i don't think it did Okay, and then all the stories, write the citizen papers, that's all good and dandy. And then if we head out to our crematorium area, I can't wait till we can sell flesh. That'll be so nice. Which reminds me, probably next episode we'll do another dungeon run. And I might try my hand at time-lapsing it, because... Oh, yeah, I did some billet farming, guys. Uh... We'll build those as we need them. I'm not going to do that right now. But, what was I saying? And we still have 10 billets left over. I was a planning man, guys. Alright, let's head into town real quick. I was saying, I'm going to probably try my hand at time-lapsing a dungeon run next episode. See how that goes. Because I think progressing snakes thing further? Snakes quest? Whatever. The bucket of blood and the five bloody nails. He's the one that gives us the um, royal stamp for the flesh. So we can start selling it to Herodric. Which, that'll be two sources of income per body. We've got both the uh, flesh that we can package up and sell as meat. Which is disgusting. To Herodric at the Dead Horse Tavern. And then we can also sell the burial certificate. Also to Herodric at Dead Horse Tavern. So he buys all the things from the bodies. Kind of sketchy, but... All right, Roderick, buy me... Or not buy me, buy from me. Oh yeah, nine silver. Perfect. And then we need to head to Kreiswald and sell him our tool, as well as the little bit of coal we have. It's not too much coal, but with the decrease or the drop off you get from selling large quantities of stuff, I'm fine with selling a small amount. Plus it leaves us with an even 200 coal, which is a nice round number. We can't sell tools to him. Why not? That's upsetting. That's one and a half silver. We can buy them to him, but we can't sell them to him or buy them from him, but we can't sell them to him. Well, is there anyone else that buys that stuff? I wouldn't imagine so. Be the blacksmith or no one, right? I don't know. Not a huge deal. It wasn't going to make us that much money. But. All right. Beekeeper, I believe, is up here and to the left. Yes, right here. Ah, there was metal scrap. I accidentally tried talking to him and pressed F to talk to him. And there was a little bit of debris right here. So I cut it down. But anyway, the beekeeper sells bees. That's right. Bees. 
So we have two. So buying eight, one silver, 78 copper. I can make that happen. And now we can make our first apiary, which will hopefully be a constant and reliable source of both bees and honey and beeswax. Maybe. I'm hoping at least. We're going to build one and find out. I don't remember what they require to build other than the 10 bees. That's the only thing I remembered. But I'm going to go check on that real quick. And then we'll grab everything needed to make the two church benches. Actually, we'll make our first joist together real quick. Just so we can share that experience. It's a beautiful one. Okay, what does it take to make... Just kidding, they're made over here. To make a... Ooh. A lens? What is that for? A polishing paste? What the heck? River sand oil and ceramic bowls. Is that used for polished stone, perhaps? Maybe. Anyway, jointing takes more complex iron parts. Okay. Let's make the last of our simple iron parts into complex iron parts. One of these days, I just, need to sp I just need to spend like two hours in this game just grinding, just filling log storage, topping out uh, the, all of our chests with everything we can imagine, maxing out on, or not maxing out, but having a ton of complex and simple and nails and just everything. And then we need wooden beams for this too, so. Oh, and it's expensive in energy. It's not terrible, but that's one. And we need eight. So, uh, give, give me a sec. Oh my gosh, that takes so much energy to make. So, so, so much. I had to make the complex iron parts, which is expensive in energy. Then I had to make the beams, and then I had to make all the eight planks. Long story short, we're only... Oh, hi there. I love that we can get faith so easily now. All right, we have enough for one soft church bench. So, uh, front left. You guys are going to get the comfy seating for today's sermon. I'm hoping we can get this done in time. Oh my gosh. All the things. Soft church bench. Oh, look how fancy that is. Heck yes. And we don't even have to build them. Ooh, it's nice. Church quality is now 29. Ooh, it gives plus three? I thought it was plus two. So one more, and we can get the 30 needed, which won't happen until next episode, probably, because, well, we won't be able to take advantage of having a quality of 30. Ooh, we got someone standing up in the front right now, too. Last time, it was just the front left. So we're getting more and more people. Is this the day we get nine? I think it is. Oh my gosh, guys. This is getting so much easier. 10? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. 10 faith. And it's only gonna get better. That is amazing. Literally every single person is giving me 22. Oh. Okay, if you guys will remember, last episode I said we're going to kind of stockpile faith, so that way we can study a lot of things at once. I'm going to go ahead and make this other church bench, though, or at least grab the materials for it. It's going to take a little bit, so it might be... Heck, the, might, the next time I cut back, it might be Horn Day, and we might be going to visit the merchant instead of actually finishing that, because it just takes so much energy to do. But alright, that's my goal. Let me get to it. All right, welcome back. It is actually the morning of Horn Day, so I did this a little faster than I was expecting. And I went ahead, oh my gosh, I love this. It's free stories and free faith. It's so nice. We'll give our front row seating the best seats in the house. The house of Doctology, that is. And we get point. <sighs> Had I paid attention to how many we got back last time, I would not have made so many extra, but whatever. Soft church bench. Boom. And then we do need to buy more cloth from the merchant today, as well as more grape seeds. 
So hopefully we have the money for that. But look at that. We now have our 31 church quality. Ooh, it's looking fancy. Next stop is the apiary to build up a bee house. I think we have everything we need. I'm pretty sure I checked and wrote it down properly. I wrote it down a long time ago and I didn't put any note next to it. I literally just have a note next to me that has quantities of materials, not what it's for, but I think it's for this. So I'm hoping I have what I need. It should be according to this, four flitch, six nails and 10 bees. Seeing as how bees is in the recipe, I thought that might be correct. Okay, beehives. And of course, why would they fit properly? Ugh. <laughs> Not that it matters. I guess we'll just put them all over the place. Perfect, right there. And having one, assuming this produces what I think it produces, it should basically just be... Ooh, that's so nice. Like the hives and trees that you can harvest, but it will repeatedly be in the same spot, I'm thinking. So I, I will, I'm will. i guessing that when it's ready, we'll see like a honey dripping symbol or sprite right below it. Speaking of honey dripping, let's grab this and walk around all day with a health bar above our head. Just kidding. I'm going to take a quick nap just to get rid of that, because that's gonna drive me nuts. And then we'll head into town, visit the merchant, and see if we can buy some more cloth for future church benches, not today. I wanna work on other things. Uh, and in addition to that, buy some grape seeds, we'll check on our vineyard. Oh, that doesn't go in there. But that, what, what goes in here? Why am I? Honey, man, I am crazy. All right, quick little nap. Like, real quick, just until our health stops recovering, which means we're full. Okay, perfect. And then, because we can, why not, let's warp to the Dead Horse Tavern, and then to the merchant. So fast. You'd think people would raise questions, or that our teleporting would raise questions as to, you know, hey, why are you able to teleport? You know, that, that might be a question people are asking. Okay, so that goes up by seven copper the first time. Eight the second time. And then it just goes up from there. Uh, let's get another four. That sounds good. That's enough for another two rows of church benches. And then the grape seeds. We're gonna... Actually, is there any point in buying the low quality grapes? Seeing as how everything we need is the silver quality. Oh, that's painful. But it's happening. Gosh, we make a little bit of money, and as soon as we do, we lose all that money. <sighs> I'm thinking it might be a good course of action to start saving so we can get the 50 silver, buy the trade license, start trading with the merchant, and I'm hoping that will unlock the ability to sell our crops to him. I actually haven't even checked that yet. It's probably something I should look into. But just judging by this storyline and the way it's been progressing, I'm pretty sure we have to uh, get that trade license before we can sell our crops. Because technically he owns this land, I think. I think that's how the whole story thing is going. I don't know. Anyway, let's check on our vineyard. Oh yeah, that is a sight to behold. So many grapes with the potential of so much wine. Hopefully, that's at least of decent quality. Oh boy, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all of this, refertilize, and then re uh, replant. That's the word I was looking for. And then I'll process what I can as far as wine is concerned. And then we've got some technologies that I want to unlock. Some of which are in this tab, couples, a couple others are elsewhere, and some of which, ooh, chop, chop down a big tree to get two logs. We might, chopping small trees can now give you an additional log. Also, you make more fire. This is happening. I've been wondering how I could chop those big trees and it's been right there all along. Anyway, let me finish up here. 
and then I'll meet you in our cellar after we finish processing down all the wine and we will go from there. All right, unfortunately, we are 10 grapes shy of being able to make a second silver quality pail of grape juice. We have one bronze and one silver quality, and I don't really want to combine the bronze and silver since we're aiming for silver quality wine. And in doing this, that gives us at least a 50% chance of getting silver quality wine, which we did last time. And unfortunately, we fell on the side of the 50% that doesn't get us silver quality wine. So I'm hoping if we try it again, we will have a 50-50 shot at getting that wine. And I say hoping, it it should be a 50-50 shot at getting the wine. Why do we have flour down here? I don't know. So, so many unknowns. <laughs> but we do have some stories we could drop off. And then while we're down here, as far as technologies that we unlocked last time, anatomy and alchemy, we got the alchemy workbench 2 and a distillation cube, which I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it unlocks more alchemy stuff. Uh, hand mixer. Wait, do we even have a hand mixer yet? I don't think we do. Distillation cube though. Eight complex iron parts and 20 stone. I think that's doable. And then the alchemy mill, we don't have I either. The steel parts. Hold on. Hand mixer? Do we have... We don't have a hand mixer, do we? Because this is the alchemy workbench. This is the study table up here. Then this is the church workbench. And the desk. Yeah, we don't have a hand mixer. Should I add that? We have the resources. Yeah, let me do this real quick. Let me go grab everything needed to make a hand mixer. And we can't make the alchemy mill yet. Hand mixer and a distillation cube, which sounds fancy. Yeah, let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have returned with everything needed. At least I hope. Pretty sure I got it right. <laughs> It's always so hard to keep all this stuff in order because if I grab, you know, some simple iron parts in my inventory and then I make complex iron parts, it pulls them from my inventory to make them first and then it starts using this stuff in the trunks. So it's always, it's always fun. Yeah, so a hand mixer. We haven't made one of these yet. That looks like a perfect spot though. And like it would fit perfectly in this alchemical workstation area I'm setting up down here and then a distillation cube wait is that didn't we already make one of those isn't that what's up here did I grab those resources for nothing what is this a brewing stand it just looks very familiar it looks like the same thing, almost. I guess it's not, though? No, it's different. It just looks very, very similar. All right, so I could put this up here, but I kind of want to keep it all in the same area. Although down here, it's going to be just like a line of tools. And this could have gone right there. Oh, well. I think right here is going to be perfect. I can't center it on anything, so we'll just be space efficient. Space efficient instead. I think that works. All right, look at all those cobwebs in the corner. Hopefully building this gets rid of those. Although I doubt it will. Ta-da! Nope, it's still a hot mess. Even though we just built something in the area. Come on, clean your workstation first. Okay. Hand mixer. Ah, uh, ah, this is how you, okay. Let's try using fat. Let's see what this does. It's gonna make a different alchemical ingredient out of it. Slowing solution. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need another alchemy rack somewhere nearby. Slowing solution. Interesting. 
Ah, and that's how you get these chaos solution, slowing solution. And I kind of want to just try everything we can. And then the brain. What does this make? Intelligent solution. Two life solution. Interesting. So if I combine, hold on, let me see what this is first. I might do a little alchemy. Okay. So different. So that's just a slow process. This is bizarre. Different things need to be processed down. Okay, so hearts can be made into, uh, where are our hearts? Decomposes into, it looks like a vial of something. Whereas this is a powder. And then the brain is a, a solution. So I, I don't know how that works. I guess anything with that symbol means it's gotta be done in the distillation chamber. And then shall we dabble with alchemy? I can never remember. It's powder first, right? Order powder and uh, slowing solution. Sure, why not? Worst case, we make goo, right? Goo of acceleration. So does that mean I used the wrong? I don't know. I feel like it's hard to really trial and error my way through this when I have so few things to work with. So doing some more dungeon runs will definitely help. And then these can be crafted at the alchemy mill, which if I'm not mistaken, we need powder or a polished stone to make. Because right now it's just a limit of, yeah, polished brick of stone. It's a limit of how many different powders we have. We can make all the oil in the world. We can keep getting bodies and getting blood. But those powders, we don't have a way of producing them consistently right now. It's just dungeon runs, which eventually that'll run dry. So the alchemy mill is something we should probably look into. But to get there, we need stone carving, which we have the points for, and we're gonna do because we can. So to make polished stone bricks, it's done at the stone cutter. Okay. So now we can make a polished brick of stone. Ah, using either an iron chisel or polishing paste. I kind of want to use the iron chisel because that seems like it would make more sense, which we can now make over here. Where was it? No, was it at the workbench? It was. An iron chisel uses four sticks and three simple iron parts. Easy enough. I would think we would still need polishing paste because this just allows us to chisel it into a, a square. Not... I don't know. And that's just one. Did, don't tell me this consumes the chisel. Okay. It's going to give it back to us and it's going to take some durability. All right, so that is a polished brick of stone. And we needed how many for that? I don't even remember. But wasn't there something else we needed? Yes, there was. Let me go get quantities real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, now that we have the ability to make polished bricks of stone, there's two things that we can build that require those. The only two things that I know of, at least, are... Oh, it's beautiful. We can only take one of these at a time. Are the incense burner for the church and the alchemy mill. And in order to build both of those combined, we need 10 polished stone, eight simple iron parts, and six planks, which is doable. I'm just currently out of stone. So I'm gonna do some farming up of stone real quick. Beautiful. And that gives us only six pieces. So we'll have to do that again and then grab the planks and I think we actually have the simple iron parts already. Let me see what we've got to work with. We have two planks, so we'll have to make some more, which is fine. And then, what did we use? Oh, that's all of our logs. That is all of our logs. 
And I'm pretty sure I made some uh, extra nails last time. And... Uh, can I get another perk real quick? No, it's uh, smithing. The inborn blacksmith. That is 30 blue points. You like to work with red hot iron. Hammering relaxes you. So anytime I, I build something, I get nails from it. Which sounds useful. Just as a quality of life thing. Nothing more. But we needed eight nails. And eight simple iron parts. Perfect. We'll stash the iron. I need to grab some more stone. Only three more pieces. I'll be right back. We'll polish it up. And then we'll get to building this new stuff. Okay, got everything needed, and then some. I'm not quite sure why I grabbed nails. I think I was looking at the wrong part of my notes. Anyway, we've got the eight simple iron parts, the ten polished brick of stone, or polished bricks of stone, and then the wooden planks. So let's start with the incense burner, which I don't know where this goes. Oh, crap. Well, this is awkward. Uh... You don't have room for it. The only place it can go is in lieu of the candelabra. And the incense burner gives us one quality, whereas the candelabra two gives us two. Uh, but the incense burner would probably function the same way as the candelabras, which again, I haven't been using. You can add candles to them to temporarily increase quality. I think that's how that works. So scrap that. <laughs> Instead, we'll build the alchemy mill, which is huge. It is massive. But if we do this here, give it a little bit of breathing room. Actually, no, we'll do it right there. And then we could put another... I wish we could build trunks down here. I don't know why we can't. We'll do another alchemy rack right next to it. And that way we can start sorting between the stuff. And it'll just look more complete. Life extract. That's so fancy. I don't know what that does yet. So I'm, I'm not going to bother with it. But I guess I can go ahead and start putting some of that stuff in here. I don't know because it came from this stuff. I don't know if that's going to make sense. I'll need to see what all we have access to create and produce before I start really organizing. Ooh, it's got a candle on it, too. That's so nice. All right, alchemy mill. Okay, bones. Ah, this is how we create our powders. Okay, cool. So the hand mixer creates the solutions. That's cool that we unlocked these all at the same time, or at least built them all at the same time. The distillation cube creates the essences, no, extracts, and then the alchemy mill creates the powders. So if we grind down a bone, that makes white powder, just white powder. And if we grind down some intestines, that sounds disgusting. Life powder? Hey, look at that life powder. So it's going to make sense to store the powders over here and then maybe our finished products and our solutions and our extracts over here. But I will save the organizing of all that for a later date because that's where we're going to end for today. Oh my gosh, we did things, guys. So exciting. All the alchemy. And we got bees. Actually, you know what? Before we end, let's go check out our bees. Oh, hey, honey. Would you look at that? It's honey. Beautiful. And this should be less painful. It's still painful, but less painful. Perfect. Now that we have a sustainable source of honey, beeswax, and bees, I'm not going to buy another bee. I'll just keep harvesting these. And can I add a trunk here? I can't. Unfortunate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we will end for today. Thank you all so much for joining me on this incredibly chaotic and fun adventure. I'm going to go save, but before I do that, I'm going to go host a sermon, and then I'll save so you guys won't be seeing that. But it'll happen. Anyway, thank you guys so much. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Until then, as always, take care.